By combining our headers with clever use of some ifs, we can easily convert monthly data into anything we want, semi-annual or quarterly, etc. So just to show you how this would work, notice we've got some inc an income statement and at the top we've got a header which tells us that those first six months belong to a period called one and those belong to a period called two. What we want to create is quickly and easily a function that will look for all the ones and incorporate it. So the function we use is going to be the sum ifs. Now you can use the sum if as well, but we feel that it's worthwhile just going moving over to sum ifs. So when I say OK, it asks the following things. Now the way we recommend you do it is you always enter the criteria first before the criteria range and sum range. So the criteria for this particular cell is please look and find anything that has a 1. Because I know I'm going to copy it, I'm going to put the dollar signs on the number because I want to be able to copy it left and right. And when I move up and down, I must still look at row 15. Given that we want to look for the ones, where must Excel look for the ones? So the criteria range will be that entire row. So don't do the work for Excel, don't only highlight that. Highlight the entire row, put the dollar signs on. And what must it sum if it finds a match? Well, because we're in product X, it must sum all of that. Now, if I put dollar signs everywhere, the problem is when I copy down, it won't move down to product Y. So we know that we need the D and the O to stay the same, but the 8 can move. So we don't want that. We want this dollar signs in front of the D and the O, not in front of the 8. When I say OK, you'll see for that one it gives 1328. Let's check if I add up those 6, 1328. I should now be able to copy it across. So there's 28. One eight, so that's correct, and I should be able to copy it down. The benefit of this method is instead of me going like this, equals sum, and then manually trying to get this right, I now have Excel doing it for me. And if someone comes to me and says, actually, I don't want semi-annual anymore, these are actually quarters. Can you make these a quarterly report? It's as simple as, don't worry about the formulas. You come up here, and wherever there's a 1, so the first 3 we're going to leave as a 1, I'm going to change this to a 2, change this to a 3, change this to a 4. So now, without changing any formulas, this is now a quarterly report. That 513 is adding up those first three. So in financial models, it's always a good idea to try and go to the lowest possible level monthly because it's extremely easy to convert it into quarterly, semi-annual or annual reports. It's much harder to go the other way.